Hi, I'm Justin. And I'm Blake. And we are King Swings Commercials. So today we're gonna do a pros and cons list on our playground surfacing. And since I am middle aged and old and decrepit, I will do the negatives. I guess since I'm young and full of life, I'll do the positives. You know, that script sounded better in my mind than in real life. All right. So, um, moving on. The pros of wood chips are smaller initial investment, easily sourced, generally installed the same day, easily replenishment of biodegradable material, environmentally friendly, and basic site prep, a level ground at the minimum. And the cons are biodegradable, so your replenishment rate is a lot higher, requires a tall border because of so much material that it takes to meet code, loose materials can be kicked out of high use areas which will need to be replenished, and lastly, really poor accessibility for wheelchairs. All right, so that was wood chips in a snapshot there. So let's do rubber mulch now. Sounds good. All right, take it away. What are the pros? All right, the pros of rubber mulch are lower replenishment rate than wood chips, easy to replenish as needed, does not biodegrade, generally installed the same day, there's lots of color options, and basic site prep, level ground at the minimum again, non-toxic, requires less material for cushioning falls, and uses recycled products. And the cons of rubber mulch are Parents' preconceived ideas about rubber mulch, they sometimes are a little wary of it being made from recycled tires and they're scared that it's toxic, even though it's not. Loose material can be kicked out of the high-use areas requiring you to level the mulch or replenish it. Even though it's not biodegradable, it will need to be replenished over time simply because children will kick it out of the playground. It is a higher initial investment than wood chips. Also, rubber mulch has really poor accessibility for wheelchairs. And now for the creme de la creme. Let's get to it. I kicked him not at all confident that I said that right, but for poured in place rubber flooring, let's do the pros and cons. Has the best impact attenuation to material ratio for head injuries. It can be installed in fun designs, has lots of color options. High perceived value, there's no mess. Good accessibility, uses a recycled product, has low maintenance costs and requirements, and it has longevity. And the cons are, it has a really high initial investment cost, requires a lot more site prep than the rest. Manufacturers recommend resealing it every four years. Installation of the port in place rubber flooring is separate from the installation of the playground. Installation is weather dependent. Port in place rubber flooring can be difficult to repair if it is damaged or if you need to change the playground. So the pros and cons list is actually a downloadable PDF on our website. There's also a lot of other information and documents that are downloadable on our website if you need more information. That's right, we try to make all of our information really accessible so that when you're like pitching this playground idea to your playground committee or the project lead, you can slap down a portfolio of all this really nice information and look like a pro. Correct, and also if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our sales team. We'll be happy to help you. That's right. So until next time, this has been Justin. And I'm Blake. And we are King Swings Commercial. Thanks for watching.